Hi, today we're going to make a fun little fishy game using Scratch programming on the on the Scratch website. So the website is scratch.mit.edu. Um, firstly, we need a little shark sprite. So we're going to click on this one and we're going to go to animals or underwater. Shark. Oh, he's off the screen for you, but I can see him. Okay, shark can go there. Fishy, I mean cat, I think we'll get rid of you. And now we need a fish. And again, underwater. I think I'll go for that little dude. And he's way too big. Make him a bit smaller. Click on that one and then oh, click on that one. Click on the fishy. Now, they're going to move differently. The little fish, when flag clicked forever, move 10 steps and if on edge bounce. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that wasn't meant to be for you, Sharky. That was for the fish. Go there. And the shark's going to have something altogether different. Okay, the fish is if on edge bounce. Oh, now also, I don't think I want the fish just to go side by side. I want it to swim in random directions. So I'm going to put a turn at the start of the game. And it's going to turn a random amount so pick random from 1 to 360 degrees a full turn now what's it going to do oh yeah okay now I don't like it swimming upside down so I'm going to right click on it info side to side rotation type now it should just stay the right way up while it's swimming okay back to the shark shark is going to forever point towards mouse pointer so I'm going to drive the shark and move I'll slow it down a bit to make the game a bit more challenging five steps now what's the shark going to do it's going to follow the mouse pointer which is good except again don't like it swimming upside down info side to side rotation style okay now the shark is going to sort of chase the fish so something's going to happen when he hits the fish the shark has got two different costumes, mouth, sh I mean three, but the two I want for now, mouth shut and mouth, mouth open. So I'm going to tell that shark when he touches the fish to open his mouth and then shut it again. But actually I'm going to use the fish to do this just because it, I think it will end up being simpler. So the fish is going to have another little script that says forever if touching shark and that could be inside this forever loop uh, forever if touching shark oh yes okay he's going to actually send a little signal he's going to broadcast a signal and that signal is in dark orange broadcast a little signal and that signal is going to be called bite and no one can see the game players can't see that that's just a, but I know I, I've called it something I know what it means now the shark when he receives that signal he's going to open his mouth and the way he does that he changes to shark B he starts off at shark A changes to shark B so I have to tell him to in his looks to, oh, at the start of the game, he's going to start off being Shark A costume. And then when he receives that, he's going to switch to the mouth open costume. And then he's going to wait oh, maybe like 0 0.2 of a second, or maybe 0 0.1 of a second even. And then he'll go back to Shark A. So he's going to shut his mouth again once he's chomped on that little fishy. Oh, he's opening his mouth. He's not opening it for long, is he? I could change the time, but actually, no, that's all right. Now, and sound is always a bit of fun. Let's have a sound. What have we got? We don't really um, have all that many there. We could give him some extra sounds, I suppose. What have we got? Oh, those aren't sounds. Oh, that's upload. Choose sound from library. Wow, wow, wow. Chomp. Okay. Let's just, okay, yep, that'll do us. Import chomp and go back to his scripts. He's not going to pop, he's going to chomp. 
Okay, push and play. Mm, I want him to just play that. Let's see if that makes any difference. Kind of annoying, but it'll do. Okay, so um, making the game a bit harder, I think I'll make the sharky smaller and the fishy smaller. Again, just because otherwise he's going to spend far too long chomping on that fish. Okay, now the fishy's not doing much swimming around. What's up with that? Have I broken the fish? Let me just see. Um, maybe it needs its own little loop to stop it tangling itself up. Ah, that's more like it. Okay, so now we've got the basic moves. Are we ready to duplicate that fishy a few times so that now we're going to have a whole lot of fish? The problem is... Oh yeah, that works. Okay. And he eats them. Okay. Um, let's make it that when they get eaten there's a score, something goes on with the score, so we're going to, uh, I think we'll put this, the score script can happen on the shark rather than on every single fishy, um, make a variable and it's going to be called score and it applies to all sprites and it shows on the screen, that's what that tick means and the score at the start of the game is zero but every time the shark gets the fish the score is going to go up by one now what's happening hey oh dear okay it's going up far too fast i'm gonna have to fiddle around with that maybe if i do it after that it will fix it that's more like it that works oh i'm not very good at this game i'm not getting many fishies okay now the score is going up. Oh, next thing I want the fish to disappear. Oh, that would have fixed the score problem as well. So now back to the fishies. After its broadcaster's bite, it's going to hide, and then it's going to wait for one second, and then it's going to show. And at the start of the game, it needs to show. And I should have put that on before I did the rest of the fishy scripts because now I need to edit each one, but I've got a cheats way of doing that. I'm dragging and dropping it onto the other two fishies, and then I'm going to replace that one with the new one. Okay, now do they disappear? Oh, they do. Nice and they come back cool and the score keeps going up does it yes now what next how about a background that is quite a fun game so far though backdrops import underwater that will do and i think that's enough for tutorial number one. Oh, name your game And don't forget to save your game and get ready to look out for tutorial number two to give, put in a, um, a way of winning and a way of losing.